Now to cover some more stuff in pattern mode, I want to make it easier to view first of all. So this is how I would have it normally when I'm trying to look get some stuff or look for some files in the browser. Once I'm done, I've got this set up here. I want to probably see more of the pattern. So here I would pull out here, of course, and I can see the full eight bars of that pattern. Also, I can go right up here and sort of hide the project view a little bit more and bring up the master section and my pattern section right here. Now to make a better view, I can go here to where it says uh, machine, a little magnifying glass right there. I'll click on this and it opens up my view, which is much better. So now I can sort of like grab this bottom handle right here and sort of widen it up and I get a better view and I can see the bars right now. And that's the full view of the eight bars. And I can also change my grid here. So for example, this grid is, six, is 30 second notes and I want to change it to 16 notes and here we go. Now you see the grid change there? Let me do it again. Let me change it to eighth notes. And you notice how the lines are changing now that you see within this pattern grid. Let's go down to quarter notes. Not, they're not changing at all here, so you'll notice that too. Not change to watch this though. I want to go here and put a note in. Let's say I put a note right over here. And now that is half a measure note, right? So and go right back here. Let's put a quarter note in. This is a quarter note. Let's go to here. So what's happening here is I change the grid size there. The notes are getting smaller. It's half note. It's a quarter note and there's an eighth note. And I can go down here. I'll make a sixteenth next. Just that little fun here. And there's a sixteenth note right there. There's two of them right there. So this is changing the way I can add notes to the grid. Now, this is a tool which is a pencil tool. So I can actually go in here. Let's play something here from the top. See the snare drum. I just added the snare drum right in there. I just dragged along it and it made a bunch of snares because it's a pencil tool. And I'm right here in the pattern mode. I drag along and it's set for 16th notes. At 16th notes, I put that pattern in. I can undo too. Let's go here, undo and edit and undo. And wow, the mute's gone. And then undo the insert and the snares are gone. Now, the reason why this happens is because this little tic-tac-toe icon right here enables the pattern here to be restricted by what I have here for note value. So if I go here and I reduce my note value, I says, okay, well, I don't care about the note value. Watch what happens here. I can go into here and write. That may sound right, right? But if I go to here and turn it back on and I'll play it from right about there, about there and play. It's out of sync. It's out of sync totally because now the grid's not working. So let's go back to here and let's go to uh, eighth notes. And I'm going to undo this. So I can actually go backwards. See that? Now it made him into eighth notes as I drag along there. But it's still out of sync, but it's doing it based on the note value here, which is eighth notes. Now I'm going to go here and grab this tool and erase the tool and erase this stuff. It's all erased. Now notice when I actually put a note in here somewhere in any of these tracks that go back here to a pencil tool, you notice that I can take it and then I move it anywhere. See, I can put them there, but they're, that's on top of the line. It's not directly on it. None of these notes are directly on it. They're not in the value. So once this is on here, it locks those notes into where they should be. I'll go back here to erase this off of here, and it's gone. Now, if I place a note there, let's say I place a note here, right here, I make a use of the cursor now. I can just drag this note anywhere. And if I take off the grid parameters, that just locks it to the grid, with that button right there, I can drag a note anywhere in the line. And it doesn't have to be exactly on point. So I can move a note or a sample anywhere I want to within my pattern grid.